Hello, my fireflies, and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. It's me, Lyat. And Azalee. And it has been a little while, but we are back, and we are here with the Yogg, the new hit indie title by Damien Sommer and Emily Carroll. This is a different game, to say the least. It's a indie title that was... It's... It came out just recently. It's kind of a choose-your-own-adventure game that can be played by multiple people, which is why Asley is joining me today. Yes, yes, yes. In her very lovely tiger t-shirt that she has on right now. But, uh, yeah, so this came out last week? Yeah, May... About a week, week and a half ago. Yeah, it's it wasn't that long ago. I have the wrong date written down because I'm a genius. But, <laughs> I was uh, going to say... <laughs> Yeah, I have May t May thirtieth, two thousand thirteen. No, it was it was just about last week. I believe it was on Tuesday. But uh, anyway, so yeah, it's a choose choose your own adventure game for up to four people. Local co op only. You cannot play this online with people. But uh, it has randomized elements, and yeah, we're I guess the best is kind of just to go straight into it, isn't it? All right. This is, this is a completely first time look at it too. Also, so. before I do. This intro music, which we can't hear at the moment because we don't have headphones on, but the intro music is very, very lovely. We got to hear it a little bit earlier. We haven't played this before, but I have heard plenty about it. All right. So, there are... Ooh, I'm liking the art style. There are three characters, uh, four characters, because I can count. Um, okay. Well, I'll pick the first character. I'll go with this guy up here. And who do you want to take? Um, I'll take the, the woman in red. I pick this woman. All right. All right, that works. And it gives controls both for the keyboard and for the controller at the same time. You can play with both. All right. The Yogg will be here in six weeks and no one expects it. Not one, not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. All right, this hmm. game does not have any instructions, so you kind of have to figure out what to do on your own. Oh, goody! <laughs> so <laughs> it appears Asley is going first. Okay, so Asley has to pick the area she wants to go to by using the up and down arrow keys. Hmm. There's the forest arena. Alchemy Tower, Gardens, Palace, Tavern, Hospital, and the Slums. This Sweet. is so weird. I don't know what to do. <laughs> now, it is currently week one. I'm assuming that the game ends at six weeks. Looks like you have some stats over in the corner there. Uh, physique, Finesse, Mind, Charm, Magic, and Wealth. You are broke. <laughs> Clearly. Be all right, so we hit enter. Yes, you're going to the slums. Pickpocket or fight crime? Oh my god, um, um, fight crime. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. <laughs> oh, I'm already loving this. <laughs> you gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. Nice. One night, a small child approaches you with his hands cupped and outstretched towards you. Doesn't say anything, but just looks up at you with wide eyes, waiting expectantly. Give him some coin, or ignore him. Put him. You have no coin to give. <laughs> I don't know, can I still give something? Would you like to check? Yeah, let's see. You okay, no! <laughs> yeah, I have a penny you could spare. You end up hanging out all night, though, talking with a child. Hearing a child's outlook on the world allows you to see things in a slightly different light. You gain one mind. Woohoo! <laughs> it yeah, still right had choice. a bonus. <laughs> all right, now it's me. You know what? I don't like the slums. I'm going to go to the palace. Hmm, do administration work or attend the ball? Let's do some administration work. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You are paid two wealth and gain one mind. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> Just one day, you decide to lean up against a wall. Just to take a break. 
It rotates as you apply pressure and you stumble down a set of stairs. You enter a large dusty room filled with barrels. You found the king's famous wine cellar. <laughs> Host a secret party in here. Or keep quiet about what you saw. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of want to be cheeky. But let's be cheeky. You send invites to everyone you know, but Aww. nobody shows up. <laughs> you decide to drink your sorrow oh away all alone. You down glass after glass and quickly black out. When you come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize and only in your underwear. Your clothes are nowhere to be found and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? They say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. The Yogg sounds like the Tarrasque. And if you don't know that reference, you can't be friends with me. All right. God. Um. Hmm. Very interesting game so far. Unique art style. Very unique. I'm trying to think of. I know. What that, I can bring to mind. I know that all these events are randomized. So when Asley went to the slums, it could have been a completely different event that she got. Hmm. Let's try the forest. I want to know what... Oh, maybe I shouldn't, though. Now, I know this game what has if... apocalyptic themes. There's something... The Yogg does arrive, I guess, at the end of six weeks, and you're in charge of building the city after it's destroyed. So you kind of have to prepare for its arrival kind of thing. How is any of this preparing for its arrival? I, I don't know. But the game does boast over 50 endings. Jeez. All right. Um, Not entirely sure how um, true that is, but we shall see. Let's let's go to the tavern. Maybe we can learn something. Bartend, bartend. or drink? Oh, let's bartend. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. Woot woot. One day, a bard tells, pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, <laughs> his singing is horrible and ruining the tavern's atmosphere. Great. You decide to do something about it. Challenge into a loot tool. Challenge into a loot tool. You borrow the bar <laughs> and yes. challenge the bar to a musical duel. You play out a beautifully complex combination of arpeggio Peggios. arpeggios. Yes, says the band geek. Yeah. The tavern roars with applause. Yes. The bard tries his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. Oh. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. You gain one finesse and one charm. Now I feel bad. He broke his loot. <laughs> Let's head to the gardens. Landscape or meditate? Let's get my mind juices a-flowing. Let's meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one... One magic and two mind. Walking past a pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, sir, I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. Kiss him, kiss him, kiss if him. If you could see your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. <laughs> kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. I don't know, this seems like a trap. Because <laughs> not all outcomes are good. Keep that in mind. There, are, oh, there really? are all sorts of things that could happen to you. You could get turned into a vampire. I know that's one of the outcomes. Oh, shit, really? Yes, so... Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. kiss, kiss. kiss. <laughs> no. I, I think this frog may very well be a fairy of some sort. I don't know. Let's catch the frog. Yes. You realize that a talking frog is worth a fortune and quickly grab for it. You aren't quick enough to catch the frog. It leaps out of your grasp and swims away. You realize you should grip things tighter. You gain one finesse. <laughs> well, that's one way to learn. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. Hmm. All right. All right. I am wealthier than you. Well, that you freaking know. You have more charm. Haha. -ha. Let's let's try the alchemy tower. Clean lab or brew potion. Oh god, this is gonna end horribly. <laughs> let's let's clean the lab. You spend the week cleaning.
cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're pay paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day an artificer. Ugh. Artificer. Yeah. Stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. Oh, no. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. However, as she leaves, she turns to you and says, You, I like you. She offers you a choice of one of her, one of her trinkets. Ring of clever thoughts or swift movement? Ooh. Hmm. Finesse and mind are at a tie, but I don't know which one. Or maybe swift movements would. No, that would be finesse, right? Clever thoughts, I believe, would be charm. Swift movement would be finesse. Are you sure clever thought wouldn't be mind? I'm pretty sure it would be charm. Hmm. Swift movement would definitely be finesse. Hmm. Choices, choices. I don't know. Hurry up, you are boring everybody to sleep. That's... I, I like Speedy. Let's go. Let's Three go, Speedy. Three finesse. Woo! -woo! The alchemists, the alchemists are, are jealous. jealous. <laughs> nice. Love it. Alright. My mind is far superior to yours. Can I go to the alchemy tower? No, I can't. You barred that from me. Love. You jerk. <laughs> Let's go to the hospital. Imagine what this would be like if there were four players. Now, I have high mind. I'm assuming that I can tend to the patients rather well. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. I'm very smart. One day you hear spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling, howling out horrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize that she is freaking everyone out. <laughs> you decide to do something about it. Talk calmly to the ghost. They prize the ghost with magic. I only have magic six. This probably would not end well. Let's talk calmly to the ghost. I'm a very mindful person. Maybe I can reason with it. I'm not very charming, however. <laughs> you approach the goat, the spirit, and try to explain her effect. Her explain to her the effect that she is having on the sick. I am not a charming person. <laughs> Eventually, everybody gets used to her and learns to live with a creepy ghost. Your mental resolve hardens. Gain one mind. And the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. What is this thing? It's a Gru. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You two, gain two physique and one finesse. Hoot hoot. Oh god. Oh, your former lover, Kelly. An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming to care too much. After a few minutes, Jean, one of the most popular fighters in the arena, butts in into the conversation. Kelly's a female name, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. You are playing a lesbian. Good to know. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> hey, Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we've got to leave right away if we want to make it to your mother's in time. You say an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel happy or jealous. Hmm. I'm curious. Does it do negatives to to for the rest of the week? Oh, you, you can charm. you can lose stuff. Well, you're no fun to be around. You channel your rage into working out. You gain two physique. Hmm. Interesting. So it does do that. I'm going to the alchemy tower, and I'm gonna brew a potion. 
You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! You look over to see what he's done, and you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. Oh my. Oh my. I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist explains. The ended ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. It's a zombie ferret. I am not going to praise his accomplishment. <laughs> you smack the ferret off the counter and stop it until it stops twitching. The alchemist is horrified. He gained one physique. <laughs> Beautiful. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong? Or have we forgotten? I'm really aching to know what this thing is. Alrighty. Where, where can we go? Perhaps to the forest? You expressed interest in going there. I know, but I'm worried. <laughs> At the point. Um, you have high physique and finesse. Hunting might be good. Defenseless critters. <laughs> You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day, during your forest excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. Of course, it's always rats. At first, you jump backwards in shock, but then you start hearing them conversing with one another. They call you over. Hmm. Excuse me, miss, one of them says in a high-pitched voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? I am not doing a high-pitched voice. <laughs> they knock something off my desk. You see, we're trying to elect our new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. We are trying to decide between Seedpaw the Vengeful and Blight Tooth the Wise. Those are great names for rats, don't you think? They remind me of uh, the Chronicles of Redwall kind of stuff. Seedpaw steps forward. If you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader. One who isn't afraid to take our fight to the enemy, proclaims Seedpaw. Blighttooth steps up. If you vote for me, goodness, I shall lead these rats to an age of enlightenment, says Blighttooth. Which rat do you choose? Choose carefully, sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god. No idea why you called a sorcerer. I'm the magic one. I am. Uh, I don't know. Seedpaw the Vengeful. Blighttooth the Wise. I, I, I like the idea of a wise wise rat leader. wise rat king yeah half the rats roar with tiny applause Seedpaw bows his head and walks back to the mass of rats Blight Tooth climbs up to your shoulder and whispers ancient secrets in your ear as thanks you gain one mind and one magic would have been a more beneficial event to me, I would suggest. <laughs> Let's keep brewing potions. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. Thirteen and ten. Jeez. I'm becoming quite the decent magic user. One day a swarm of rats. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> they are biting everything in their way. Everyone else in the building flees immediately. What do you do? Blast them with magic! You wave your hands and produce volleys of fire to incinerate the rodents. Shooting... Shooting all down... Shooting all down those rats. Hold on! <laughs> shooting down all those rats really improves your aim. You gain two finesse. Woohoo! The Yog, it's almost here. Almost. Oh Week boy. six. Oh boy. Is it just me or is this fog thing? Was the has fog that been just getting to be bigger? Rolling in. Okay, so that's not me. I thought it was losing my mind for a moment. Let's go to the gardens. Uh, I don't think we've landscaped yet. No, I don't think we have idols. Spent the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. <laughs> one finesse, one physique, and one wealth. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing in the grass. 
You there, young person. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to take a nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Sure. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun, the, the wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. Finally, after what feels like an, eter an eternity, he w awakens. Ah, I haven't slept like that for years, he exclaims, before leaping into the air, disappearing in a flash of light. The trial fortifies your resolve. Gain two mine. <laughs> Slums. Nah. Oop. That's not what I want. Well, Actually, looks like you can't back out. So do pickpocketing, because we haven't tried that one. Alright. You spent the week performing petty theft. Gain one wealth and two finesse. One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely tonight, he asks. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. <laughs> I don't think so. No thanks. <laughs> the storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us all through a grinder. Drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. You see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Whoa. Wow. Devastation. Choose, Choose your, your role. role. Oh, wow. You have physique, fitness, mind. Hmm. <laughs> the town drunk is an option? Oh, my. The doctor. Conjurer, the builder, the leader. I think the conjurer or the doctor might be for me. Are you sure? I think do you have more mind? The hence the conjurer or the doctor. What about for leader, though? Or would that be more charm? I think a leader would be a com combination, combination of, of charm, mind and, charm and mind. Hmm. I think, actually, the leader would probably be an all-rounder. Probably. Uh, let's, let's see. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You try to delegate tasks, but can't get many to listen. You try to give your give congratulations mm. to hard workers, but your words come across as insincere. You help the rebuilding effort a little bit. Hmm. So you can only choose one per turn, I guess. I will be the doctor. <laughs> you take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. You're able to fix up most of your patients in no time at all. This means there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. This helps the survival e effort considerably. Okay. And so we set about our tasks once more, living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Through our home, Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it? Huh. That was a very interesting... It's short. Like, each little session... Well, the town well, is being rebuilt, yet. you decide to become a full-time arena warrior. You slowly rise in rank, knocking out scores of fighters. Even ones as great as Jean the Beautiful. <laughs> Before long, you become the arena champion. You travel across the world, fighting the very best of the best. Tales are sung far and wide of your mighty feats of strength. Nice ending for you. The Yogg has changed you, and per probably for the better. With the town being rebuilt, you eventually... T decide to retake your role as a doctor in the hospital. There you make friends with another doctor. 
The two of you do everything together. You're inseparable. Eventually, you even decide to get in an apartment and live with each other. Then your friend gets married and everything changes. Your spouse has to move away to a new town and your friend follows. You try to keep in touch by mail, but the letters start to come less and less frequently. You try to fr fr <laughs> fraternize, fraternize with, with the other, other doctors. doctors. Well, they're all nice people and nothing can compare. Oh. That's kind of sad. I helped the c rebuild the city so much better than you did, and I get squat and you become world champion. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's, That's an interesting weird. little game, though. Now, I'm kind of eager to try it again, but to see if there are different results this time. Mm. Now probably going to separate these into two different videos, but I I'm interested in trying this again. So, uh, let's give it one more session, shall we? 